What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. So I thought I'd do a video folks, for you folks on the MDM slash remote management lock on MacBooks, and that is the T2, M1, M2, M3, and M4 MacBooks. Um, I'm gonna show you basically in detail of how to do a bypass on the latest macOS 26 and to point out the error that a few people have get have been getting and to show you how to fix that error as well at the same time okay so as you can see it's on a device management lock and i'm going to show you basically what to do how to bypass it to get your device fully activated with all features working so you're good to go so the first thing you want to do Obviously, when you get to the screen, is basically power off your Mac. If you're using a silicon Mac M1 to M4, simply hold down the power key to load up the options. If you're using a T2 Mac, uh, press the power key and then hold down Command and R to enter into the Mac OS recovery. So in this case, I'm using an M3 silicon Mac, so I'm just going to go ahead and Press and hold down the power button. Okay. Here you want to select options. A lot of you are going to be familiar with this process anyway, but for new customers, and people who have new devices who haven't used the iRemove tool service before. I'm going to show you in detail exactly how to do that. So you can get your Mac running on the latest Mac OS 26. Okay, so obviously entered now into the macOS recovery and as you can see, it says reinstall macOS Tahoe. Yeah, which is of course is the latest macOS 26. So at this stage, what I wanna point out is the error that some people have been having and basically how to fix that error, so to speak. So first thing you wanna do, select your web browser. Obviously make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi um, select your web browser and simply click continue. So this bit here, what we want to do is delete what's in the URL at the top. And simply type in, I remove dot tools forward slash code okay hit enter now you can either grab the command string manually copy it or you can just simply click copy to clipboard i can quit the web browser and at this stage head over to utilities terminal and simply edit and paste it at this stage just hit enter and there as you can see program crashed signal six 
So what I want to point out is basically the fix to this. Um, I've contacted iRemove Tools, I've mentioned it and reported the problem. So it's only a matter of time till this gets fixed anyway. But obviously if you want to get your Mac done in the meantime, which I'm assuming you do, then the best way to go about this would be to simply quit the terminal, head over to Disk Utility, click Continue. What we want to do here, view all volumes, all devices, sorry. Select the top one here and simply erase. Make sure it's, yeah, untitled. APFS GUID partition map and let's go. Erase the Mac and what this will do on a silicon Mac, it'll erase and it'll restart the Mac, okay? And this is what we want. For the record, if you have a T2 Mac with an MDM slash remote management encryption, my advice would be to uh, permanently unlock it, remove it anyway. If you have a T2 Mac, MDM, yeah, a bypass, I wouldn't recommend. Okay, so at this stage where it says activate your Mac, I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. Give me a sec. Okay, so connected to Wi-Fi, at this stage, it'll say your Mac is activated and we simply want to exit to recovery. As you can see, we've got reinstall macOS Sequoia. Um, so at this stage, we're going to install Sequoia. Make sure your Mac is connected to the charger. Make sure it's on charge for the duration of the installation. Okay, so now it's going to install Sequoia on the Mac. Once the installation is complete, I'll be right back with you. Okay, people. So as you can see, I've installed macOS Sequoia and I've gone through the setup and I am now at the remote management screen. So at this stage, simply power your Mac off. Again, on a silicon Mac, hold down the power key to boot to the Mac OS recovery. If you've got a T2, use Command and R. And it's obvious the reason why this has to be done is because on if Mac OS 26 is at the beginning, in putting the command into the terminal, it fails. So in then reinstalling, erasing the disk, reinstalling macOS Sequoia and doing it this way, this is how you get it working basically. So we'll get it on, we'll get the bypass done on Sequoia, update OTA and have it fully working. Okay, so click your browser, Safari, continue and so here we go again so that's i remove dot tools dot tools forward slash code enter brilliant same again either grab the command string or just copy to clipboard and quit the browser. So now utilities and terminal in paste, enter.
See, fixed, fixed. So as you can tell, clearly there's a, a problem at the moment. Um, hopefully soon I remove tools. They are gonna fix this issue, okay? But at the moment, there is a small problem with uh, Mac OS 26 being at the uh, Mac OS recovery at the beginning. Uh, in which case, if you do what I just showed you to do, um, basically it will open. And what we wanna do here is simply open the payment page. We're good to go here, people. So let's order the service. Um, very cheap service, as you can see, $29.99, no problem. Uh, also, if you use my promo code, that is iCloudHelper029, you get a discount off iCloud Helper 029. You get a discount off. As you can see, uh, at this stage, simply put your name in, put in your email address, accept the agreement, click buy now. Once you click buy now, you'll be presented with an order form to check out and you once you check out you're good to go i'm gonna check out i'll be right back with you and as you can see people dear customer thank you for your order so yeah you go through the payment process straightforward and simply at this stage you can uh close out of this um quit safari so now the bypass has been done you want to quit the terminal for now uh, go back into safari and again i removed our tools forward slash code okay i Code. Bingo again, copy to clipboard, close out of that, quit Safari uh, into the terminal, edit and paste and enter. <clears throat> Straightforward people. Yeah, like I said, this is just this error is just temporary for now, okay? Um, but soon it'll be fixed like this is here. You know, it's almost done. And like I said, it's important to erase the disk anyway because you have to restore the Mac um, to proceed with the bypass anyway. So as you can see, you, you'll have your user credentials there. So you've got your username as admin, password 1111, okay? So at this stage, uh, just simply click the Apple logo and we're just going to restart the computer. For those of you who, uh, who have already done the bypass before Mac OS 26 was released, not a problem. You can just, um, you could just update OTA. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you've used either the Checkmate service, iRemove tool service, or indeed the HFZ service. Yeah, you're good to update OTA. Brilliant. Terms and conditions, let's agree. Okay. And we are in on Sequoia. So, 1111, enter. Obviously, you could change your username and password once inside. This is just set by default. And when you erase your Mac, um, if, if you want to erase your Mac um, and then redoing the bypass then, as you've already paid for it, straightforward, job done. So here we go. Straight to data and privacy. Bingo. So let's set up. Obviously, skip all this setup later. But obviously, for you folks, you, you know. Um, so yeah, you got your computer, you got your MDM bypass done, and you're good to go. 
So now just to get it on Mac OS 26 Tahoe, we're going to continue, continue, continue. Okay. <laughs> right, so uh system settings and just go on software updates uh, check for an update as you can see it's installed the latest sequoia 15.7 and it's just going to check for an update now it'll show mac os 26 tahoe and we're going to update it and like i said updating it you know the OTA is not blocked. It'll go through with the update and it works absolutely flawlessly on Mac OS 26 as well. It certainly does. So let's upgrade and agree. One, 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 enter. Brilliant. So now it's gonna download, it's gonna install and basically you're gonna have your MDM bypassed Mac on Mac OS 26 Tahoe. And there we have it, folks. Uh, basically, obviously, I had to go into a little bit of detail at the beginning with regards to, you know, the error that pops up when uh, you've got your Mac and it's on Mac OS 26 and then in having to put it on Sequoia, uh, enabling the payment page to open, enabling you to do the bypass on the device and... I know I said this earlier, but I'll add it again. The fact that, you know, you can sign into iCloud, you can use all the features, all the services on you, everything is fully activated. You are good to go. Um, updates, you can update your Mac as you go along. There's no problem there. Obviously, if it was an iCloud bypass, I'd certainly have, a, uh, I'd certainly have something different to say on that because um, with an iCloud bypass, it's uh, unpredictable. So obviously the iCloud bypass is not out yet for Silicon Max, not yet. And neither is the MDM removal for Silicon Max. But again, like I said earlier, with regards to the T2 Max, the removal is out for them. So if you do have an MDM Mac T2, I certainly recommend removing it for good. Uh, for the A12 Plus service, iCloud Bypass on the A12 Plus, I'll leave uh, a video in the link below. Um, it is still working. I want to point out it is still working. Um, you can sign into iCloud. You can use the App Store. You can use a lot of services. Notifications are working. Apple Pay is working. Obviously, at the moment, FaceTime and iMessage isn't working on the A12 Plus for iCloud Bypass. But I'll have the link for that video. I'll have the link of that video below. Uh, I'll also have the link for the T2 MDM removal. Um, you'll see loads of videos underneath uh, this this one, this specific one. Um, and check out my channel if if you've got you know Apple devices that are locked, encrypted with iCloud remote management, that type of stuff. My channel is right up your street, people. It certainly is, yeah. You know, it pays to go the distance here. You know what I mean? Uh, big shout out to I Remove Tools for, you know, making this happen. Um, obviously, hope you've liked the video, people. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, and a big, a big shout out to my followers and subscribers. And um, yeah, you know. Let's go the distance here. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.